So good morning and welcome to this last day of Open Access, Open Air, Open Access Week. Um, today, uh, we we have a, a, a long week with a lot of sessions happening during the morning where we presented some of the open air services and uh, two knowledge cafe during the afternoon. And today we have our last session. So um, before going, just some housekeeping rules. As you all know, and you are, if you already heard, this event will be recorded. So participants, we ask uh, you all to have your microphones off. If you want to participate, use the chat um, to address questions, doubts, comments to the speaker, or at the end of the session, please um, open your microphone or raise your hand to, to speak uh, directly to, uh, to the speaker. Um, the presentation and the recording will be updated in the event and will be sent will be sent to you by email. So we have um, a strong presence in social media. So please uh, tag us or use the the hashtags of Open Air or an Open Air Week of uh, Open Air Services. So today um, we have. Um, the session dedicated to to um, a recent uh, a recent service. Um, it was integrated in uh, in open air um, project in open air Nexus project. Uh, the the open citations, which is um, an infrastructure for bibliographical metadata, and the speaker today it's Ivan Ivy, um, which I um, thank you for um, anticipated. Uh, for your presence and for accepting uh, our invitation to be here and to present the services and now it is integrated in open air in uh, open air research graph and now we can see all the the the, the work and the infrastructure uh, in the in the graph so the floor is yours thank you so much thank you thank you paula okay so i will share my screen Um, let me put it full screen. Okay, I think you all see the presentation now, right? Yes, all good. All good. Okay, then. So, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ivan Haby. I am a researcher at the University of Bologna and a computer scientist. Um, I'm a developer at uh, working at Open Citations and uh, the responsible for the technical infrastructure. So today we're gonna go through some, let's say, uh, some important points. We will start from um, a general overview of, uh, of the infrastructure of open citations. Uh, what do we mean by citations? How we treat them, the data that we host in the infrastructure and uh, some st statistics. Then I will go through uh, a discussion on how Open Citation is integrated with other services, particularly with uh, the Open Air Nexus project and the USC. Some future steps. So what we are planning on, uh, we are already developing and planning to 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 release uh, as the future steps and future projects. And finally, I will go through uh, some uh, small presentation here about how to use the data of open citations together with uh, a demo uh, to, to, to go through how to, um, to practically do these kind of things. So a quick overview. So what's open citation is an independent infrastructure organization. It's currently hosted by uh, the University of Bologna, so which is the legal entity um, hosting open citations. It is dedicated to the open scholarship and to the publication of the open bibliographic metadata and citation data uh, mainly. And it uses the semantic with the, the so-called semantic web technologies to, to model the data that is hosted inside. A open citation, uh, in, it is engaged in the advocacy for the open citations 
and the open bibliographic metadata. This is done basically by um, two, two main initiatives, the I4OC, so the initiative for the open citations, and the I4OA, the initiative for open abstracts. So what we uh, mainly provide, um, well, open citation mainly provide, are first of all, the data model. So all the data that are handled by uh, the infrastructure are modeled according to the open citation data model or the so-called OCDN. This is based basically on the SPAR ontologies. So um, going back to the semantic web technologies, this, this is some ontologies to, to model the, the citation data that is hosted and uh, saved in the open citation. And it has been recently included in the fair sharing uh, service. Then it provides also bibliographic, of course, and citation data all under the uh, CC0 wave. So basically, there is no limitation on, um, or restriction on the usage of the data. And the main data sets that is uh, handled are called the open citation indexes. So these are the data sets that contain the, the citation data uh, of, uh, of open citations. Then we have also, or we provide also the software that we develop, uh, uh, that our developers or we all, all develop to uh, release um, some services along with uh, the, produce, the, the production of some of the data of open citation. These are all released under open license and all, all deposited into GitHub repositories, repositories. So these can be reused and uh, foster the reproducibility of the same, um, of the same uh, procedure. And of course, some online services. So uh, we basically have REST APIs, uh, the Sparkle endpoints, which are the, let's say, the portal the, um, that could be used to, to, to freely query the data that, uh, that are um, saved in open citation. We release some dumps uh, for uh, the data set that we, we produce and some uh, user-friendly interfaces. So web interfaces to search uh, through the data of open citations. So as you can imagine, citations are the main, uh, the main key and the main information that we are, uh, uh, that we focus on. What, are, what, what is a citation basically? It is a link between a citing article and a cited article. So in scholarly publishing, this link can hold a lot of information because it, um, it encapsulates a lot of information about how also the citing article is using the cited article and why this uh, and um, why this link happened so this is uh, it has a lot of information in it so uh, to, in, to 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 represent the, um, this uh, this link we need some basic metadata um, about the citing article and the cited article and then as open citation, we want this data to be open. So the, cit the citation should be open. What do we mean by open? So we basically want uh, this data to be structured. So we need it to be saved in some format that can be reused also by a machine. Separable so we can access and we can uh, we can yeah, access the data uh, from different services and of course without any restriction on the usage of that or such data. So since we use semantic web technologies and all the data that we host are linked up in data, we uh, define the citations data uh, in our infrastructure using the OCDM uh, model of open citation. So basically, what we want to, to, to do here is to represent the citation itself as an entity. So 
basically in the the in, uh, the, the previous representation here of this slide the citation was only a link between two entities now we want to have the citation as the main entity and we want this entity to have um, some attributes and some characteristics so we have the citation which is the the, the main box let's say we have um, the citing article the cited article the time of the creation of the citation the time span so the difference between the um, publication of the article and the article that is cited so the publication of the art cited article and whether this is an author self citation or it is a journal self citation so what is the main advantages about this it is the fact that we can uh, hold all the information regarding a citation in one place so in one box so this will make um, such data easier to describe, to distinguish, also to count for, bibli bibliometric, um, for bibliometric reasons and to process. So basically, since we have this kind of representation, we also need some identifier for the, for the citation itself. And we have de defined the so-called open citation identifier. So this basically is a globally unique persistent identifier, which identifies the, the open bibliographic citations stored in the data, in the data sets of, uh, of the infrastructure. So as I said, the main data sets are called or represented by the indexes. So currently, uh, and the last release of uh, of the last data sets uh, of index on August on, of this year um, contains one billion and three hundred sixty three a million almost million citation links between uh, seventy five million bibliographic resources. So these are all data that is uh, that are hosted in Open Citation and are modeled according to the OCDM a data model. So how to, to use this data? We uh, provide different services from REST APIs to, as I said, the Sparkle endpoints. So Sparkle is mainly the query language used in semantic web technologies to, to, to query the data. We provide the dumps, so some dumps in CSV format and uh, in RDF format, basically, and some user-friendly interfaces to, again, a query the data that are stored. The two main um, indexes for the citations are called Koki and Kroki. So Koki is the open citation index of Crossref open DOI to DOI citations. What do we mean by that? These are all citations uh, that has been, mm, let's say, in, retrieved from Crossref and that are open and available in Crossref. So the data uh, are, in, uh, uh, yeah, are from Crossref and this is based on the Crossref dumps too. So when Crossref release some dump for the data, we uh, update our data set with such citations using the, uh, say the open citation data model. So uh, we, we really represent this data with the model of open citation. The second one, which is a smaller one, so Koki is the, the, the bigger uh, uh, data set, Yet the second one, Kroki, is, is called Kroki, and it's the crowd-sourced open citation index. So in this, uh, in this case, um, we, are not, uh, we are not like uh, querying a big service such as Crossref. We rather, um, we rather get the citation from the individuals, from authors. So each author identified by ORCID can deposit the citation, uh, the citation information about his articles 
uh, and again, also under the CC0 um, public domain waiver. So we can uh, re-embed this data in the infrastructure and expose it. About dissertation coverage, so basically this is an, an article that has been published uh, one year ago because this is based on the last Koki dump of 2021 dump, yeah. So it compares uh, the, um, the coverage of, uh, of Koki uh, compared to other um, other uh, more popular, let's say, also maybe uh, indexes or citation indexes. So uh, we can see that on basically uh, Koki 2021, we moved from 25, 28% of the coverage to 50% of all uh, the of the for the citation coverage coverage of all the resources combined. The sources combined. So we are very close to the percentages of web of science, for instance, or dimensions. Here we have still in this uh, diagram Microsoft Academic, yet this is maybe moved uh, to, to Open Alex. And uh, we, uh, we think that th these are the same, the same percentages also for Open Alex. So some statistics uh, regarding the, um, the 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 data and the dumps that we uh, that we are generating. So in this uh, in this uh, chart here, the um, the representation starts from June to 2021 to August 2022. As we can see here, so we moved from almost um, almost yeah, a 800 uh, million citation to the 1 billion 300 uh, million citation. Here basically we have two important events which I have uh, which are in this red circle right here. So uh, on August 2021 um, basically um, was the the uh, yeah the date when, the IEEE publisher um, published the cita its citation uh, openly on Crossref. So this was a huge embed into indexes uh, of open citation. And on August uh, 2022, basically um, Crossref removed the, um, the opportunity to, to make the citation limited. So all the citations that are deposited in Crossref now should be open. So that's why we have this, uh, um, let's say, uh, a bit more gap uh, compared to 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 the differences with the with the, the other years with the other dates. So how it is open citation integrated with the other services? Uh, open citation as part of uh, the portfolio or, or catalog of open air. Um, it is part of the uh, monitor, uh, the monitor uh, process in the open air nexus project. So the, um, the main contribution is regarding the research graph and the idea here is to, um, to ingest the data of open citations into the, the open air uh, graph and also to, to, to have a link back of the, of the data of the, of the graph into open citation. So currently uh, the, first, the first thing, so the, the data of open citation are ingested into the open air uh, research graph and we have to move forward for the, the second part. Uh, secondly, we, ha we have uh, developed some software for the, um, for the, ingest the ingestion, again, to and from uh, open citations. Uh, and this could be useful for, um, for other services of, uh, of Nexus, such as EpiScience, for instance, so it can integrate the, 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 the data and the query data of, uh, of open citations. 
so it, it is also exposed in the EOSC market place and it is used uh, by us, many other services. So for instance, we have Voss Viewer, so which is a, let's say, um, a network displaying the citation network based on the citations of, uh, of uh, open citations. And it's used also by, for instance, BPLB. Uh, um, so yeah, and uh, GECO and yeah, all the other services. So for regarding the, the EASC, uh, some of the main, let's say, um, principles are the openness, the fairness, uh, the, the fairness of the infrastructure. So uh, open citation, as I said, provide all the data under CC0 uh, waiver. So it's very devoted to the, to, the, to, to the fact that data should be open. So all the citation could be reused uh, without limitation, without any restriction. And fairness, because all the software <clears throat> and all the, uh, the methodologies used to, to, to develop the, 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 to develop and produce the data open citation is available. Uh, so could be reproduced all the, the methodologies and the methodologies and the processes could be uh, reproduced. And in fact, recently we have also presented at um, the TPDL conference, some theoretical model to move not only the software, but the infrastructure itself to, to a state where it can be reproduced. So where we would like to define the infrastructure as, as a distributed service and which can which could be uh, reproduced in case uh, we want to move the infrastructure to to move the infrastructure to some different uh, host uh, uh, hoster. So this is the, this is basically uh, something that we have just designed uh, theoretically, but we would like also to move to this uh, to this uh, kind of um, strategy uh, in the future. So. The KPIs of open citations are based basically on the data that are indexed. So this first graph represents the indexed data that I've shown before. And then we have also the usage of the, of the data. So here we represent the usage with the two class different classification. One is the APIs, and these are the main um, the main uh, usage of the, of the data of open citations. And we reach almost <clears throat> three, four million uh, API calls uh, per month for, for, uh, for to query the data in the data sets. And the other classification is which we have called here data sets is based on all the other services and all the other um, a mechanism that we provide to to um, to access and query the data. So it can go from um, the search the inter search interfaces to dump downloads and to all the other mechanisms. So what are the future steps? Uh, oh, before I uh, yeah I list the future. So all the things that we are planning to do or we are doing right now are. Um, are reported into uh, Trello. So we have a Trello. Uh, we have a Trello page where you which, where, which is public, and you can access and view all the the process that we are going through and what we are planning on uh, on on uh, releasing. So here I have just mentioned a link to to the blog post to describe these kind of things. Okay, so. What is the main and the, the, let's say the, the, the uh, one of the uh, key uh, things that we are planning on release on releasing? It's called Open Citation Meta. What is Open Citations Meta? Open Citation Meta should uh, enable to 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 store 
in-house, so in the infrastructure itself, bibliographic metadata about the citing and the cited publications that are already involved in all the citations that we have indexed and we have in the data sets of open citations. So what happened here is the fact that, so going back to, to, to how I have represented a citation, so we have a citing article and a cited article, yet in this case, and with all the, 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 the process that we have done so far, we use the DOIs, the DOI identifier of the citing article and the cited article. Yet this is not always the case. So with Crossref, that was possible because we have queried and we got the data that provide the, that have um, DOI identifiers. Yet some other uh, articles, a publication could lack this, this information. And uh, the idea here is to have an internal mechanism which, which can, uh, let's say, identify the, um, <clears throat> the publication, not only based on the DOIs, but also based on other uh, identifiers, for instance, for um, uh, PubMed IDs, maybe. So, and in this kind of situation, we will also have one entity which can describe uh, or which can point to, to all the other uh, duplicated entities in all the other resources. So th this is basically the idea that involves uh, the, the, the production of open citation data. And uh, this can also, of course, improve um, the API performance of open citation, since in this case, we will not, um, we will not uh, get any other data from external services, while we will get everything from the open citations meta data set. And it will enable also some text search because we will have some metadata regarding the citing and the cited articles. So for instance, we can search um, through the title or through other textual feeds. And this is expected by the end of this year. Then uh, about the indexes, so with the, the main index, which is Koki, we release a dump of Koki every two months. And the, uh, the, the, the next dump will be released actually, I think in some days. So it, it, uh, it is already ready to be released, let's say. And then we will have to, to, to move on to two more uh, indexes, which we called Noki and Doki. So the Doki uh, index is based on the uh, citations of data site, while the Noki uh, index is based on the National Institution of Health uh, citation collection. So with the National Institution, uh, Institution of Health, we have almost uh, 730 million citations, and these are based on public med, uh, pub, PubMed IDs to PubMed IDs. So as I said before, in this case, uh, open citation meta will be crucial to ingest these kind of citations. Then we have uh, the citation of data site, which are 100, almost 170 million citation, which are doi to doi citations. So these are basically um, they, they, they basically like the same um, the same representation that we already handle with the citations of Crossref. Again, these are only numbers about the citation. This are this will not be added to the current because some of these citation we could uh, could be already ingested uh, have been already ingested in open citation through Crossref. So. Uh, using the open citation meta, we can deduplicate de the, the entities and we will add the additional entities only. So for these two uh, indexes, also we expect uh, to, to release them by the end of this year. 
Finally, we would like also to have a, let's say an HTML component to be added to any web page, uh, which represent a page, uh, a page widget of open citation. So one can add this page uh, on its uh, own web page to display uh, some informations, for instance, basically the citations about an entity that is provided as a parameter. And this is also, again, expected by the end of this year. So querying the data, how to query the data. I will go maybe a bit fast on this part because I will like to, to show you um, live via demo demonstration how to, to, be, to do that. So we have, some, we have the sparkle endpoints, as I said, but this is basically uh, maybe the most, let's say, hard part to, to use because it's the most technical also, because um, to, to query the data using sparkle, the sparkle language, uh, users need to have some technical background on the semantic technologies. So, this is an option. This could be, uh, this is actually the most um, also for, for those who know the Sparkle can, um, can be, uh, this option can be very flexible. So it could, can uh, have very potential um, adjustments and definition of the, of the query itself, but yet it, uh, it, it needs some technical background. Then we have the uh, web-based uh, search interfaces. So this is basically the most, well, let's say, easy way to, 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 uh, to query and visualize directly the data. So uh, via web, uh, through the web page of Open Citation, we can search and uh, view the, the entities of the data sets and we can filter uh, sort and export such results. These are the, the this software. So this uh, search interface is based uh, on a software that we have de developed, which is called Oscar. So this is made, made um, this is basically an example of a software that we are currently uh, we have released, and it's currently uh, on GitHub. And it, it could be uh, reused. So it could be uh, freely reused for any other cases. And finally, the REST APIs. So the REST APIs uh, are, as, I, as the statistics that I showed before, shown before, the, the ones that are mostly used. So um, this basically represent uh, the a convenient, so let's say, uh, access to the data that are included in open citations. This is, mm, let's say, basically used by web developers, uh, researchers, of course, and uh, users who are not really maybe experts in the semantic web technologies. So as for the search interfaces, here again, we have developed another software, which is called Ramos. And uh, the APIs have been developed using Ramos. So again, anyone can re take again the, the, the software, the MOS software, and reuse, uh, reuse it to, to, to its own data sets if, it's, if it is based on semantic web uh, technologies and the RDF representation. Okay, this is fun. this is not the um, let's say um, a service to query, but is important. Let's say because APIs could be used also uh, by specifying the so-called uh, access token. So we really encourage people and users that want to use uh, and query the data, the data of open citation, to to get this token before using the APIs. So the, the APIs basically could be used also without um, specifying the token yet. And, and the token does not uh, track any, any information about 
uh, the user that uh, that want to, to to get the token. So this is basically um, a an epoch string that we use to to to, to anonymously identify a any unique user that uses the open citation APIs. Um, but is not mandatory. This will help a lot the, the um, open citations and uh, to, to basically give some stats about how many different users use the APIs of open citation. And uh, this is basically was a new addition to, 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 the, to, to the service of the services of open citation. And based on the September of this year, we have registered basically 12 uh, different tokens that have made API requests to open citation. And we have an average of 1,414 calls per token. Uh, currently, on to, to this day, we have 36 different tokens registered. So, Thank you a lot. I have basically just finished the presentation. If I have time, I can give you some um, uh, brief demo, let's say about this last part. So if I can go further, okay. Okay, so. Okay, so this is basically the open citation websites, the, the open citation website. If we go to query data, here we um, we basically uh, let's say um, list the things that I have mentioned in the presentation. So we have the Sparkle endpoints, the REST APIs, and the search interfaces. So. If we go to the Sparkle endpoint here, oh, okay, this is the Sparkle endpoint. Basically, it's a query language. One need to know what what this, uh, how to use this query language. And uh, once you define the query, you can run the query. And here we have view results based on the query. So it's very flexible for those who knows the, the Sparkle query language. It's very, yeah, it's very flexible and could could be modified according to, to, to the use case, to, the, to its own use case. So this is the first option. The second option are the uh, search interface. So I have already opened so this one. So basically, even from the uh, from here, from the searching box, we can search for a DOI. So if we search for a DOI like this, okay, this is the most, let's say, user friendly way to 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 get the data about. Uh, the, the, the citation. So basically I have inserted a DOI and here I get the um, a list of all the citations to that DOI. So in the cited reference, we will have the DOI, the DOI I have just specified here. And on the citing part, we will have all the citations to that DOI. We can, um, we can export these results. So if I click here, I can I will export this result in CSV format. Of course, we can sort the, 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 the results as we want. And we can also filter the results. So basically, I can say I want only the, the, the citations that have been done on 2018, and it will show only that. So if I go back here, I will get all the other results as before. The last type of, um, of mechanism to query the data, which is the most used one, is the REST APIs. <clears throat> so here we have a page which describes how to, 
to, to use the, the APIs of open citations. And if we go to the operations, we have basically uh, six main operations. The first one is called references. So one can um, specify the DOI after references and get back uh, as a result all the citation, um, all the citation where the DOI, where the DOI represents the uh, citing entity. So these are all the references of that uh, particular article. Then we have citations. So in this case, we give a, a DOI and we get all the citations of, of that DOI. So as you can see, uh, as I also said in the presentation, each citation is represented and char characterized by these attributes. So we have the OCHI, which is the um, identifier of the, of the citation, a citing entity, the cited entity, which are both in DOI, um, which have both in DOI identifier, the creation of the citation, the time span between the publication of the citing entity and uh, the cited entity, whether it is a journal self-citation and whether it is an author self-citation. We can also access directly a citation by specifying the OG or the OK of the citation. And here we will go directly to, 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 to query and to get that specific uh, particular citation. Metadata, so we get metadata. And again, here, since we do not have uh, open citation meta still released, this kind of um, API request um, needs to, to, to query external services. We, we, we are very confident that this query, this API call will be very much improved once the open citation meta will be released. We have a direct citation count and a reference count. So it will give you back a number about, um, about uh, the DOI. So that particular article that is given as parameter, as, a, as an attribute to the operation. All the operations could be also, um, let's say, re, um, re, redefined, filtered. So we can basically, for instance, uh, filter the results so we can say to to once we have all the results to take only the citations that are um, that have been done maybe after some date or or any other things that involves the the attribute of the citation itself we can also decide how to sort the the, the data which format format we want the data and here basically we, we provide two, two basic formats, the CSV format or the JSON format. And this one, which is maybe the most complex one, but if we want to get back uh, the, the data represented as JSON, we can also decide to uh, redefine the representation of the data in uh, a different way. So. Uh, yeah, we can redefine, for instance, the list of the, the authors as a list, uh, a list of, of names or a list of only, um, of only the surname. And uh, so we can decide whatever. So if I try, for instance, to call the citations of this DOI right here, okay. So I have basically uh, copied and pasted the, the, the API call uh, in the browser. We will get this. We will get a list of the citations. So here, this one is a citation. This is a second citation and so on. Since I, I have um, queried and asked open citations to give me back the citations of this particular DOI, we will find this value always in the um, in the cited in the cited part of each citation. So as you can see here, it is always in the cited part of the citation. And 
the part that changes, of course, it decide it's the citing article. Um, so all the others attributes, so as journal citation, author citation, and so on. Okay, so I think this is it basically. One last thing I wanted to say is, of course, the APIs are not only mm, mm, planned to be used uh, by the browser, but it could only also be used inside um, code. So here, uh, if you go to, 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 to the page of the APIs, we, we have just mentioned um, a brief code part on how to use this, for instance, in Python. And um, yes, how to, to, to access uh, the, the um, how to, to query the data using the APIs and also how to specify the, the token uh, if you want to, you, to do that. So the token can, all, can basically be specified uh, during the API call only if, we, if it is done via, via code like this. Okay. I think I will leave a bit the stage also if there is any question on anything, I can go also further, but I, I think I have said everything. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ivan. Yes, Thank you. I think it was very detailed. <laughs> yes, we have we have we have here one one question and um, from Irina who says thank okay. you Ivan very useful. If a university would like to check citations of words of its researchers, which of the querying options would you recommend for this task? Thank you. So they want to get the citation based on the author names or uh, or uh, Irina is here, so he can. Okay. Thank you, Irina. Yeah, maybe, maybe I can clarify a bit, yeah. sir. That uh, the use case for a university, and uh, what what do you think would be the best approach for them to collect a list of DOIs for their researchers, and then somehow query uh, a, a batch of DOIs or orchid names from researchers? Or, I don't know if you have any tips about that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so basically, um, if you have a list of DOIs, maybe, and you want to get the citations of all these DOIs, okay, you mm -hmm. can use the API calls. So as I shown here, you can basically also, if you want to do a small code, let's say, to, to and to give each time uh, as parameter the DOI that is in the list. So we'll get, you will get the citations of each of these articles, which are identified by DOIs. Then um, if this list is very huge and big and you need to do this every time, one thing that we suggest is to download the dump, the dump, actual dump of open citation and to use that one because uh, on the blog of open citation, we have also, we, are, we have provided, let's say a tutorial on how to, to, to use directly the dump without accessing the APIs. Because um, maybe if you want to do this thing very, very often, uh, it could be slowed down. But if you have the dump already saved by your side, this could be with very much faster. And uh, yeah, and regarding the ORCID, uh, so if you have an ORCID and you want to, to query based on the ORCID, we are very uh, like, we, we look forward with the integration of Open Citation Meta to go on this direction. Right now, it's uh, a bit more complex to do that. And uh, so basically citations could be, could be retrieved based on the articles itself, themselves, not on the authors so but we we, we are very uh, let's say yeah confident to to, to with uh, to move to that uh, particular uh, step with the open citation meta integration which is crucial right now because of the, such queries basically <laughs> because yeah Thank and you. free text queries of course so i don't know if i answered somehow yes, no? yes. Okay. very helpful thanks a lot Thank you. 
I, I would also like to, because my colleagues here who are, who are dealing, who their work is more related to publications, um, they are uh, using, um, along with this project, which uh, Open Citations is one of the funders, they are already uh, using it and integrating with a, a plugin. Um, mm -hmm. I, I shared the link in the, um, in the chat. Um, they are integrating the the plugin in inside our JS to to have the to have the citations um, in the Open Journal system. So I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about this because maybe there are some people who are interested. You mean in, in the initiative for open citations? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Because I work in that. Like I have. Uh, also... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's why. Because, the... <laughs> yes, because my 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 colleagues uh, um, shared with me this link, and I saw that uh, Open Citations is already is also involved in this initiative. Yeah. And um and that uh, my colleagues are uh, already using the the plugin and inserting the the citations into Open Journal system. So. Yeah. 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 Yes, it's it's basically the open the I four O C basically is the initiative to to open the citation in, inside Crossref. So basically, the fact that we have Koki, the main index of citations, is because uh, we have open citations inside Crossref. So the, okay. so the initiative uh, have um, let's say uh, improved this this reality. And that's why we can now have the, the citations inside open citations. So, okay. so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, we are very much like part of the initiative. And uh, me myself, I I worked with this like two days ago, also. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. You you have here another comment. Will you in the future use ID for institutions like HOR? Uh, for retrieving citations from a particular institution, I think it in the uh, meant that. Ah, okay. Uh, that's that could be very, yeah. That's uh, could be a very interesting option to 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 um, to to yeah to, to handle in the future and to consider in the future. Well, we we yeah we can uh, surely discuss about this thing too because we we have we basically need to 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 move on. Um, getting back citations based on any kind of input. So that's the ideal thing. And right now it's based only on the UIs, but we want to go, to go always a step forward. So from the UIs to other identifiers, to textual search and so on. I think I don't hear you. You are uh, muted, Paula. You are muted, Paula. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, uh, yes, uh, we, we don't see any more uh, questions here. I just shared the link for an evaluation form that I would like to, um, for the participants to have your opinion about this session. So if you kindly uh, fill the, the form, I would appreciate it. And um, if anyone has um, more comments or suggestions to address to Ivan. Anastasia is sharing links, Irina. Is this the cross-ref linking and or? I was wondering about this OGS use case, because that's also interesting. Is yes. it uh, cross-ref cross or, or something else uh, for the OGS? Let me check cross-ref plugin. No, I don't know this one. No, I can check this, but no, I don't know this one. So maybe you can share even if you have it, but I think in the website you can, let me see. Oh, and an article shared by Anastasia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this was an article about open open citations for 
Okay, okay, okay. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Anastasia, thank you. Okay. So I don't know, maybe Ivan, if you can give, because I, I think Irina is um, once more, um, wants to know more about this plugin and integration. So, so do you mean, um, Irina, the plugin that I'm using like for um, integrating the Crossref data inside Open Citations? Uh, I was just wondering whether that's a plugin. That's oh, yeah, 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 of course. Or, but, or something else. No, no, it is. It is actually a software mm -hmm. and it's all under here, or the GitHub uh, repository of Open Citation. So if you go to here and it's called index, Here, this one. I will share it with you here. Uh, why I cannot share? Okay. So this repository right here, which is under the Open Citation Organization, is the software that we are currently uh, uh, we are currently running to 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 ingest the data from Crossref. If that's what you meant. Mm -hmm. And also for the OGS use case to yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Need to do anything else than that plugin that I posted. So what's what's a workflow for a ah, job? Okay. For a, yeah. An OGS uh, job? Yeah, we have on hypothesis. Let's let me look. Hypothesis, open citations. Uh, okay. Uh, we have the blog, maybe, uh, where did we put that? We have a blog on the open site, uh, the, yeah, a post on the open citation blog. And maybe, Chiara, do you have it? Because I think Chiara is here also, so. Yeah, but it's okay, if you have a blog, I'll just look for Yeah, it. yeah, I will, I will share it with you every, because it's like a um, blog post that we have uh, written on how to to exactly to process the the data based on the dump mm -hmm. otherwise if you want to process the data based on the apis you can use the approach that i have maybe described here briefly mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so, yeah, uh, Ch Chara already posted uh, a link to yeah the, exactly the, so, on, yeah. on the data dump so my second question was about which is uh, these are like two, <laughs> two separate questions but thank yeah, you it's, much. it's somehow a tutorial. Yeah, it's a tutorial about how to use the data dump, how to process mm -hmm. the data dump. Uh, and if you, you have to do that massively, we always like uh, encourage people to, to download the dump. And the dump basically, I can show you here. Wait, here yeah, we are querying, but not querying. I want the data set. Okay. The, yeah, this one. Okay, so all the dumps are uh, deposited on Figshare here, and here dumps. So this is the page. I can share it here with you. So these are uh, all the dumps that are released every uh, two months. Let's say from uh, for the indexes of Open Citation. And as you can see here, we can uh, you can download the data uh, in CSV uh, in N triples, which is used for the semantic web uh, representation, let's say, Scolix, and uh, we have the provenance data. But basically, the one that you need is this one, the citation data in CSV, and the tutorial that is um, here. Chiara has share the tutorial i think this one this link here it will tell you how to to basically um query the 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 dump uh and how to to yeah exactly query the dump, the csv dump of the data uh, so the last csv dump is 34 gigabyte and you can keep it like this it's 34 gigabyte uh, zipped in and compressed and using the tutorial, you can um, basically uh, query the data inside. 
Thanks a lot. So I can show you here maybe tutorial. Yes. Yeah, it's this one basically. Thank so, you. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, it's a tutorial on how to process Koki zip CSV dump with the compressor without decompressing it. So you can, we will go through on how to download the, the dump uh, itself and how to process step by step after downloading, how to work with the, with the data, how to access. Uh, yeah, you need a bit like, um, uh, let's say background on uh, here. We have done the tutorial on Python. So it's a bit of coding. Uh, but if you don't want to code anything and you want really just to go further to get the data, you can freely use the APIs and uh, uh, these are always available. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know. We don't have more questions. Just I will. We will keep the 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 chat, and we will share with you by um, email also. The because sure. there's a there's a lot of, of links here that um, many people are interested in. So so we still have some time. Um, if someone wants to raise some question or comment to Ivan, so feel free to to do it. If not. Um, thank you so much, Ivan. Thank you, Paul. Be, thank you. Uh, on behalf of Open Air, uh, thank you so much for, for your availability and to be with us here and give us such detailed uh, information about this service that is now integrated in Open Air uh, via the, the research graph and, um, and all the possibilities that open. Um, uh, along with the with the integration with with different services in 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 open air so thank you so much and thank you all for being here and uh...